So in this video, I'm going to show you some pretty great tricks uh, for leveling a rogue in Vanilla WoW, because I know a lot of people are going to start leveling. Most people are going to really, really suck at it and have a very hard time. So I just kind of made this video, show you a couple of tricks that I've discovered to kind of help you out. All right, so the first trick I'm going to show you is probably the most essential trick to have when you're a rogue leveling in Vanilla WoW, and that is how to backstab from the front. So you're gonna backstab the mob while you're right in front of it, because there's no real way to get behind the mob in Vanilla WoW without gouging it. And gouging a mob in Vanilla is just a huge waste of time, okay? So what you're gonna do is you're gonna pull your mob and then get right up into its face. Almost like it's about to turn around. So you're right on top of it and then just start strafing left and right. And as it's turning, it's kind of lags. So it turns its back to toward you. And then at that point, you're able to backstab it. So just keep spamming backstab while you're strafing left and right. And eventually it's going to backstab the mob. Now, this has worked on every single private server I've ever played. This has worked in vanilla WoW back in the day. It's worked on vanilla. And so it's probably going to work on the classic servers as well. So I'm just going to show you a couple more times how to, how to do it. Because it takes some getting used to. It takes a little bit of practice. But once you get it down, it's just, it makes life so much easier. Especially because later on, you get talents that make backstab much, much, much more powerful. So you pull your mob, get right up into its face, get knocked over, of course, and strafe left and right. And that 22, that's backstab. 21, backstab. 20, backstab. And I'll show you over here, just in case you don't believe me. I don't know if you can see that. But if you can see in the combat log down there, it shows you that that's actually, that really is backstab. Now this also works on feral druids. So when you see those top levelers, like in the, if you go to a new private server and you see those, pe those druids and rogues that are out leveling everyone else, this is usually what they're doing. Definitely a druid. This is this is absolutely what the druids are doing for sure. And this is typically what the rogues are doing as well. Is they're just backstabbing from the front because it does way more damage than Sinister Strike does. Unless you have like a huge main hand sword that is just insane. Like Outlaw Saber. Outlaw Saber you're probably just going to want to spam Sinister Strike, but everything else, get a dagger. Even with a crappy dagger, this is going to do a lot of damage. So here I'm going to demonstrate what it's like to just use Sinister Strike. Okay, so it does 10 damage whenever we hit it. 1, 2, parry, 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 11 damage, parry, 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 12 damage. So when it hits, it does half the damage that Backstab does. Okay, do you see the problem here? That person parried like seven or eight times. And then when our Sinister Strike did actually hit, it was less than half the damage of our backstab. So maybe that was just lucky, okay? Maybe that, that guy just got lucky with his parries. So let's try these other mobs. Okay, so 11, parry, 12. <laughs> parry, parry. 11. 11. Okay, pretty good. Doing better. Dodge. 11. So one thing to realize is that when you're hitting from behind, they can't parry. You can still miss and they can still dodge, but they cannot parry from behind. So it's impossible to parry a backstab. Which is just another reason why it's so much better to backstab than it is to spam Sinister Strike. Not only is it impossible to parry, and that it does more damage, but later on, your talents boost its damage and critical chance by a lot. 
it gets a critical chance increased by 30%, I think, pretty early on. Like level 15, I think. And then it gets damage bonuses up to, I think, 50% increased damage. So, while leveling, you're going to have a 30% increased chance to crit with backstab starting at level 15 and then you get talents that increase its overall damage by another 50 percent backstab is better use backstab all right so another pretty overlooked thing in vanilla wow is your throwing weapon and how important it is or a ranged weapon of any kind all right so here we're going to learn the importance of leveling your throwing weapon skill and using it as often as you possibly can all right, so here we have a Scarlet Convert that drops an armband that we need. So do you remember that mage from just a couple seconds ago? Yeah, that one? He's probably still fighting that mob by the time we see the Scarlet Convert. So we feel pretty safe that we can just go up there and start backstabbing it, right? I mean, if you look, there's nobody else around. All right, so here is where we know where we almost screwed up. That squiggly line that you can see right there, obviously that means that that mob was stunned. And in this next frame, you see that a warrior had charged that mob right as we were backstabbing it. So we almost lost that mob because we didn't throw use our throwing weapon. And we would have had to wait for more respawns. But we don't have to. We kill this mob, take the loot, and at this point I know that this mage right next to me is about ready to start killing more mobs. So I know now is a good time to start using my throwing weapon. And as you can see, I got it just in time. Boom, that tick, that was me. And then immediately afterwards was that mage. So vanilla is filled with moments like these, especially when you first start leveling. And it's great because, I mean, at that point in time, I just felt like the most amazing person in the world. I just, you know, I beat that mage's fireball with my knife and took the mob. I was just, I was just the man at that point. So another thing that you are going to need to know is that currency in Vanilla WoW, just starting off, is really hard to come by and it's really needed for your spells and for items. So when you first start leveling, there's going to be other people that found like level 5 or level 10 daggers and swords and whatnot. And they'll be selling it for about 10 to 20-ish silver a piece. Because that's like the maximum amount that anybody has. And so what you do as a rogue is there's going to be a bunch of people all over the place taking all your quest mobs. And so instead of just standing around doing nothing waiting for mobs to spawn, you can actually go up to the mobs that are fighting other players and you can pickpocket them. And each mob is going to have about... 10 to 50, sometimes a little bit more copper, which is 10 to 50 copper at, at this low level is a lot of copper. Okay, so just whenever you run past someone fighting a mob, pickpocket it real quick and you'll get a bunch of copper. You might get some items like some potions or some gray items that you can sell for more money. And doing this at this low level is actually going to get you really far ahead because then you'll be able to buy you know, level 5 to level 12 daggers. You'll be able to buy all of your abilities. You'll be able to buy bags. You'll be able to buy a lot of stuff that you're going to be using for a long time. And having these, you know, you might think that like a level 5 dagger or whatever at level 10 is crap. But it's, it's a really big boost. So as you can see, just do what I'm doing in this video here. Just pickpocket stuff as people are fighting them. Just run past people, pickpocket their mob real quick. They'll still get their same loot but you also get the pickpocket loot and it's going to help out a lot. And last but not least, audiobooks. Get audiobooks. So when I'm leveling, I'm always listening to an audiobook. I've listened to the same audiobooks many, 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 many times. If you've noticed this channel is mainly about Harry Potter, I've listened to those audiobooks, each one probably about 30 to 50 times a piece, except for the seventh and the sixth one probably more like 15 to 20 times um, and that's because i listen to audiobooks when i'm driving and playing wow and pretty much when i'm doing anything i'm listening to an audiobook of one kind or another 
and I've been doing so for like 10 years. But for sure, when you're leveling, you're, there's a lot of downtime. You're flying, you're running to your body, you're grinding. Audiobooks are super legit for playing WoW. Just believe me, they, they just are. Personally, when, I like, when I'm playing WoW, I usually like to listen to the Aragon series or you know some kind of fantasy series like that. But uh, yeah, there are, if you haven't listened to audiobooks before, they're a lot better than you probably think they are. So do that. All right, well, anyway, hope you enjoyed the video. Um, this is the end of the video. And uh, yeah, like, comment, subscribe, Patreon, Twitter, all that stuff. See you later.